Hello and welcome to the Estimating Edge technical support and training video series. Today I'll demonstrate drawing properties in the takeoff screen of the Edge Estimator. At the top of the pane on the far right side of the takeoff screen are the drawing properties. Each of these properties can be turned on or turned off with a click of the mouse. I'll briefly show you how to use each one starting with Auto Pan but first I'm going to zoom in on my digital image with the scroll wheel on my mouse. With auto pan turned off if I try to move from side to side or up and down by going to the border of the digital image it won't move. I would have to use my slider bars if I wanted to move from side to side or up and down. With auto pan turned on, however, it will move up and down and from side to side just by getting close to the border. The grid, obviously, puts a grid on my digital image. HUD stands for Heads Up Display. If I have it turned off and I'm going to draw a line, I have these big crosshairs. Let me tap on the Enter key on the keyboard and then the space bar. If I turn Heads Up Display on and I go to draw a line, now I have a box with a tape measure at the top of the box. So if I click and I start moving in any direction, the tape measure is going to show me how far I've gone. Let me tap on the Enter button and then the space bar. Snap allows me to snap to a segment terminator point that I've already drawn. If I have it turned off and I come to a point where I've drawn, it doesn't automatically snap to that point. But if I turn Snap on, see that little box at the point? That shows me that I've snapped to the point and I can draw from there. Ortho allows me to draw lines at an angle relative to a point that I've clicked. For instance, if I click here and I want to draw a 45 degree angle to that line, I can click here. 45 that's relative to that click. Well, it's incremented at 45 degrees by default, and we can change that default by clicking the drop down to whatever degree angle we want. If we want a 90 degree angle, enter, click, and it is now choosing 90 degree angles from that click. X-ray allows me to see through a small circle in an area that I've already measured. With measurement, if I don't have it turned on and I click on a line, I don't see the measurement of that line. If I turn measurement on, there's my measurement. Turn it off, no measurements. On, measurements. Now tape increment allows us to increment the length of a line we're drawing by a certain length if we click on the little drop-down arrow next to the words tape increment, we can choose the length by which we want to increment, or we can put in a custom increment. I'll choose 12 inches for this demonstration, and I'll turn tape increment on. I'll also turn on ortho and measurement. And let's say I want to draw a 50-foot line here from here to 
50 to there. Click 50 feet. It makes it easy to draw an exact length. Now performance mode reduces the image quality on the digital image to make the takeoff quicker and easier and more efficient. We turn that on and we can measure quicker and easier. That's it. That concludes the video on drawing properties in the takeoff screen. Thank you for watching and if you have additional questions about drawing properties, please contact technical support via email, chat, or phone.